Hello viewers. We all pray sometime or the other. And we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others. And one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. Let's pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer the Pope's intention for this month. Prayer of Pope Francis to the Blessed Virgin Mary for COVID-19. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. In the present tragic situation, when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who, in order to prevent the spread of the disease, cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your Divine Son, as you did at Cana, so that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted, and their hearts be opened to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, health workers and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day and to priests who in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, Illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that, with wisdom, solicitude and generosity, they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by far-sightedness and solidarity. Mary Most Holy, stir our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service and constant in prayer. 
Mary, consolation of the afflicted. Embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do we entrust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. We pray for our Archbishop, Philip Neri Ferrand. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman closer to God. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests, especially those who celebrate their birthday today. We pray for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire Church. We pray for the Mega Convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. Let us now pray this prayer together to our Father. Father Almighty, hear our prayer and bless us in abundance. Help us to be holy as you are holy. You went out to the afflicted to wipe their tears. You gave sight to the blind, opened the ears of the deaf, cleansed the lepers and fed the hungry. Lord, make us compassionate and merciful so that we can share our riches with the poor, the needy, the hungry, the homeless, and comfort the sick. Lord, bless our government, which has been feeding lakhs of people every day, doing their best efforts to serve. Lord, bless and protect all who are showing your love to the needy. Lord, Bless our families, bless our country, bless the world. Amen. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa, that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth. Let us lift up all intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please know that you are not alone. Your brothers and sisters all over Goa and elsewhere will support you in prayer. And if you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp the following numbers 96043-94164 or 869821537 or you could make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. We want you to be resting assured that a committed group of persons will lift up your prayer request to the Lord.